Okay, this is uh, from Audubon 5425. And um, this was kind of an unboxing that went wrong, but whatever. I, he had thrown the SAMs in there and it was just crumpled up and it looked like a piece of newspaper. But anyway, this is a nice one of those mid-60s General Electric radios that are extremely hard to work on that always have the IF transformer problems. And he's pretty much narrowed it down to that. Um, so... He just doesn't have time to get into it with the uh, new additions to the family and that. So I said, send it on over, let me get into it. I've knocked out a bunch of these now, so they should be... Um, I should almost have the values figured out on these. I, I just have to go through my notes and my previous videos on the IF transformers. These are the quality of the IF transformers in these are really cheap. Really cheap. And that's not to say they can't work good and that these GE radios aren't just built to a price, but they actually last and work pretty good. Okay, so we got some extra parts here. It looks like we got a extra tuner assembly and I don't know, this looks like a whole chassis almost. See what we got here. This looks like a anyway. This is going to be yeah. And here was one of the IF transformers. This is going to be quite quite interesting to try and put this back together and get it to work. I think. This actually looks like it's going to be an absolute cluster to work on. It's been recapped, but as usual, the dial cord is off. Okay, it looks like that one came off of there, and well, you can see what happened there, and then. Uh, this looks like just a parts chassis. Well, we don't need to, we don't need to get there. We don't need to go there first. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe they hollowed that out and recapped it from the inside. And here's the schematic. And as you can see, these values are not listed for these capacitors and they hardly ever are because the capacitors or the IF cans are made by a supplier and the supplier probably doesn't ever report what capacitors they what values they have in there and as far as measuring the inductance and then reverse engineering it mathematically that's just too time consuming and it's just easier to do it with variable caps and i might not even need to do that with this because um I think I have most of these values because I've been through these radios before. Okay, it's heating up here. This is the IF transformer out of the other set and the other set worked but was just low volume. So um, look at this concentration of heat right here. That's an intense concentration of heat all in one spot. But what he had it doing was, he had it, it's kind of interesting. Okay, well we've seen this before. 
But why am I not getting anything on FM? If the other board was working, I probably would have taken the whole other board and put it on here rather than just the IF transformer, but I I understand that he replaced all the transistors, so he didn't want to do that. Uh, this is interesting. I wonder why I'm not getting anything here. This is such a high signal environment in LA that you don't need a you don't need an antenna to get some FM. It's acting like a radio with no capacitors in the IF cans. Uh, poor sensitivity and just tuning in a whole bunch of stations at once because the IF is what gives it that narrow band pass to uh, that you know to define a station. It's just kind of like a broadly tuned TRF set, kind of. So this must be a very broad IF transformer and then the rest of them are narrow. I don't know, that's it's kind of interesting. I wonder how they have this configured. Since the other IF transformer he said is doing the same thing, I might take it apart and measure the value of the capacitors in it. You have to remove, disconnect the coil to remove the, to measure the value of the capacitor. Okay, today AM is working. I fixed a few. I mean, yeah, okay. There you go. So this is probably silver mica disorder. And what I did is I marked these cans. Green ones are 455 kilohertz AM and the yellow ones are the 10.7 FM. I guess I gotta just start pulling them off. Maybe I'll do the FM today. Um, it's real unstable, but I can't isolate where this crashing is coming from. This. I can't pinpoint this down. Some of the time it seems like it's in the cap here, and then it's random. I don't know. It's very, very flaky. I, I'm having trouble actually pinpointing it, which drives me nuts. Because I'd like to say, oh, it's the IF cans, but then again, what if I tear them all apart and it's not? Okay, so first take the IF transformer off, marking everything so you know how to put it back. Now these have the the uh, melted, the wafers under that, it's pinned down with those melted tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these and I'm going to cut the tabs out and I'm going to cut this wafer in half on both sides and just get it out. Uh, it's a little challenging, but it can be done. Now you see what I mean here, just just start, keep cutting on it gently and just break it up and take it out in chunks. Now you can see we have two capacitors in there. Uh, there's one sandwiched right there and there's one sandwiched on the other side. Um, and what's interesting is the schematic only shows one capacitor in this IF transformer. So, uh, very interesting. You know, these IF transformers are probably come from a supplier. Are probably come from a supplier. Yeah, why aren't I 50 points ahead?
Yeah, just look at how crusty and corroded the mica wafer is with those and the little tabs. Just crusty and corroded and okay, you can see what I've done there. Okay, this one's done. These circuit boards are trash. Okay, this goes on top of this. I have to take these off to get this one out. Okay, all of our caps are uh, been substituted with these variable caps. Both cans have been hollowed out. Had to repair that trace there that fell apart. And um, now if I got these in right, I should just be able to do an IF alignment with the caps, take them off and measure them, and then put fixed ones in. Actually, right where they're at, it seems to work pretty good. Risk, potential source of disappointment in markets, I think. If you own a mutual fund, chances are you're contributing to your retirement accounts. Yes, you are. In fact, notice how the dial is full of stations now, and before it would only get like three or four stations. Let's put it on the signal generator, peak these at 455, take them off, measure them, put fixed caps in there. Interesting how I got this high-pitched squeal in there. I hope it goes away. Okay, 455. I just got it fed into this roll of wire sitting here. Um, I got this on a non-station. Let's do this. Got that high-pitched squeal of something else. Boy, that's weird. Ah, oh, there we go. Boy, this has got some weird behavior. Okay, let me do this. I just... Okay, I pulled them all off, checked all of them. All four of them are the same on the AM side. They're all 110. Okay, there's the finished product. You can see I tried to uh, route the leads to double them up because the traces had been weakened. Uh, so I did that, and then I took it back, and I aligned it. Back, uh, I double double backed on the alignment doing the cores, and here it is. And off the glass. Nice defensive job by Lonzo Ball getting that steal because Ohio State had numbers on that one. I like to see when the Bruins. Are Headphones, maybe even those, you know, electrostatic. Headphones for a thousand dollars. Studios indican que no cumplen con lo que prometen. On the far side, has here in Albuquerque at University Stadium. A four wide receiver set for the Lobos. All right, so it's moneymatters.net. I always get that squealing on the lower stations around here. That's common on all radios. I don't recommend anything at this point other than you see the rheumatologist and then let me know what's going on after.
Houston tiene la pregunta, ¿a quién encontrará una? Sales tax on all 4K Ultra HD TVs purchased with promo code on top brands like Sony, LG, and Samsung. Go to fries.com slash tax for details. Some exclusions apply. Discover the Sleep Number Bed with Sleep IQ technology. It adjusts on each side so both of you can know your best sleep. Only at a Sleep Number store. This holiday. It's Radio Disney. It's a real week. Hubo menos de 400 millones de dólares. ¿Qué pasa? Okay, I might do the, uh, I might break this off into a separate video and do the FM. Uh, this thing's got some filter hum, and this guy recapped it, and I checked his work. wonder if these are like super cheap filters and they're out. I'll have to check that. I can feel it here. Um, I might break this off into a second video. This is Shango 066, and you should be watching this video on the Shango 066 channel. So I might break this off into a separate... Um, video for the FM because the FM is going to be much more difficult because I'm going to have to do that probably with a visual sweep and the FM is much more touchy than the AM. The, the values have got to be almost right on.